right, good morning. Uh, got the coffees going. Wake up to another beautiful day outside. We're going to head off this morning. We've got to meet up with some friends at um, Fortescue River Mouth just for the day. Um, as we said yesterday, we don't have an inverter in the van yet, so I've um, cheated a little bit. I've plugged the caravan into the inverter in the car. So I'll just turn it off now because we're done. So we're just going to have a coffee and pack up. There's a few people here. winds up already hopefully we get a tailwind today instead of a headwind come on Andy you can come out come on good gal let's grab me coffee So once we get going, we'll um, start filming again. See you later. Bye. Radio. Good morning. Uh, obviously, we've been up having coffee. I've been packing up and opening gates and stuff. So we're on our way to Portage River Mouth. Um, we had a good sleep. So this is obviously our first night, as you know. Um, the bed was really comfy, hey Dave? Like, yep. Yeah, we had no dramas. We all intended to cook something really good for dinner and um, we just enjoyed the fire. So we pretty much just had braised steak and onions on toast. So hopefully tonight we'll actually cook up something decent. Um, yeah, so we'll show you along the way as we're heading on in. Okay, this is the last gate, so it is the 21 to 22 k's on the way in. So we'll get Nick to get out and get the gate. Make sure I leave enough room for... Oh, fuck. Now how long you been doing that, eh? <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> That's not the first time she's done that. Usually the phone goes flying out under the car. Oh, there we go. It actually says 22 k's in on the dirt road. So it's literally opposite that Baradale 24 hour stop, which um, we've stayed at before. It's all pretty cool. All right, on we go. All right, so yeah, that was the Baradale uh, 24 hour stop I was talking about. There's heaps in there. It used to be um, a service station years ago, back in the 80s and 90s when we used to live up here, it was um, a servo. But obviously this turn off to Emu Creek is right opposite the turn into Faraday.
been on the road for a couple of hours, three hours I suppose. Uh, we're coming into Fortescue River Roadhouse. There's an oversized load ahead, just come over the two way. This is the Fortescue River. Um, we just pulled into the servo, we're just pulling out now. It's only about 300 metres down the river. Uh, headwind's been pretty strong, so we had to put a hundred bucks of fuel in, otherwise we didn't get home. <laughs> um, so, so there it there, is, the length of the river is three hundred or the bridge is 396 metres. Built in 1973. We're going to keep going down this road a bit for about 20, 30 k's. We'll turn off and we're actually going to camp where this river actually comes out onto the, it breaks out into the ocean. We have to cross it as well. over here so you just obviously be a bit cautious actually the we've got right away it's the um dump the trucks, dump dump trucks and that that have got to stop it for us but always check anyway you never know someone could be mortally texting on facebook instagram doing something that they shouldn't be Traffic lights in here now. Wow. 
got to cross over it. So obviously this all depends on the tides, whether you can get in or out. And it looks all pretty good. A little bit of water to cross. It is salt water because it's tidal. You just go slow so you don't flick the salt water up everywhere. Obviously people that are camping out here long term they have to check their tides regularly to obviously get in do their shopping and get back in between that time frame otherwise you're stuck either side and that's pretty much it so that was all nice and easy and obviously we did check and it needed to be before one o'clock and it's now quarter to twelve away so whatever you bring in you've got to take out there are bins here but they ask that you do use the bins just don't leave um, your crap lying around otherwise that's what happens they stop people from coming right oh we pulled up here at um, Fortescue there's not as many here as normal uh, starting to get a bit warm so people are starting to head off so it's parked up here there's Nick you can see the water over there just behind us so the ocean so we'll stay we'll spend the night here and then um, we'll pack up in the morning I've got some friends over over there Pam and Hans um, he said he might be going fishing in the morning, so we might go out with them. We'll see what happens. But I've got to go back to work on Monday, so today being Saturday afternoon. So we've just got a nice fireplace there ready to go. Get some wood, we'll have a barbie and a few beers tonight, and be early to bed again. Fresh air does us good. So let's have a look and wander around. There's a few more cars, vans. Sorry about the wind. So we're all packed up. All 
Right oh. Righto, it's um, six o'clock and the colours are just amazing. I don't know if you can actually see them. But there's our setup there. Nick's doing her best to get out of the picture. But as we come through, you can just see the, the colours of the Pilbara sky is unbelievable. Got our fire going. Cooked up our steak sandwich. Yeah, and the steak burgers tonight. And um, our, our friendly neighbours gave us some marshmallows for dessert. Yeah, marshmallows and something to put in the fire later. It's supposed to give some colours, so... We'll have a go at that. There's Indy sitting there patient. <laughs> patient so we'll later. try that a little bit later. Alrighty, so it is quarter past eight and we're pulling out. We've had bacon and egg wrap for brekkie, even the dog had some. And yeah, it's been great. Nice morning. I think people are already out with their boats. Our friends have taken off doing some fishing. So yeah. We'll uh, catch us next time. Like and subscribe. Um, support us, that'd be great. And we'll see you on the next adventure.